Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. There's no comparison. Hey guys, it's Andrea here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, aka my internet home. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a hmm, what should I call it? Um I'm going to be doing a Christmas playlist, like Christmas movies you should watch, or like my favorite Christmas movies. I'm going to call it Christmas and Chill, so I'm going to be doing a Christmas and Chill with me. Get it? Christmas and Chill, like Netflix and Chill. But before we get into that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post. Also, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button right now. Go ahead, do that, do that. Now that that's all done, let's get right into the video. So, like I said in my intro, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, some of them are a little weird, and maybe you wouldn't consider them Christmas movies, but they kind of are. So, we'll just see how that goes. We'll just see. So, the first one I want to share with you guys is This Christmas, featuring Chris Brown and his little young fine self. Oh my god, I used to love me some young Chris Brown. And it does have one of my favorite Christmas songs, also titled This Christmas. In the, in the music video. In the movie. It's a really good one. The second one that I feel like you guys should watch. It's a little weird. And I feel like people think it's more of a Halloween movie than it is. I'm not really sure. But Edward Scissorhands featuring... Is it Johnny Depp? I think it's Johnny Depp. Yes it is. It's Johnny Depp. It's technically a Christmas movie, I believe. I, I'm pretty sure it was like set around Christmas time. And like everybody wanted to get their hair cut by Edward. I don't know. It's a little creepy. But I like it. Third one I think everybody should see is Polar Express. I love Polar Express. I'm pretty sure you guys love Polar Express. Like, but everybody need to see Polar Express. Like, that's a really good animated Christmas movie. So, um, it's part of my childhood. So, of course, I've seen it. And I'm hoping you guys seen it too, depending on how old you are. I'm not really sure. The next one is um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So, I haven't seen, like, the, I think there's, like, a newer one. I don't know if there is a newer one. Um, I just know the one with Taylor Momsen. She's the little girl, and um, Jim carries the Jim carries the Grinch, and he like I thought he was wearing a mask that whole time. I recently found out that he actually like moved the muscles in his face to look like that. But the next one on my list is The Best Man Holiday, featuring all your favorite '90s heartthrobs like what Morris Chestnut. Terrence Howard, I was about to say Terrence Shea, Morris Chestnut, Terrence Howard, Tay Diggs, um, Nia Long, Sanaa Lathan, who else is in that movie? Um, everybody, everybody's in that movie, everybody's in that movie, actually like a little sad too, I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, it's a little sad though, but like what Christmas movie isn't just a little sad? The next one on my list is A Charlie Brown Christmas, guys, how could you have a Christmas without Charlie Brown? How? You tell me how. How could you have a Christmas without Charlie Brown? The next one on my list is Elf with the Will Ferrell. So, um, if you guys haven't seen that one, he basically was brought up, like, he was brought up, raised as an elf, but, like, he's obviously human and not an elf. Poor baby. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and, um, go ahead and watch that one if you haven't watched that one already. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this one's like a recent favorite of mine because I just seen this movie. It is A Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> so, I know a lot of people are going to tell me that like A Nightmare Before Christmas is a, um, a Halloween movie. I do feel like A Nightmare Before Christmas is a Halloween movie, but there is a Christmas element to it. Like, it's The Nightmare Before Christmas, you know, and he wanted to have Christmas in Halloween land. Is it Halloween land or is it Halloween town? Does Jack Sparrow, Jack Sparrow, does Jack Skeleton live in Halloween land or I don't, I don't remember that one. The next one I want to talk about, oh, 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 Home Alone, okay? Home Alone, Home Alone, Home Alone. How could you not, how could you mention Christmas movies and not mention Home Alone with um, Macaulay Culkin like, I feel like I could talk about this one because I feel like everyone has seen Home Alone or like everyone has um everyone knows the premise of Home Alone that you know the whole family goes away for Christmas and they just leave Kevin all by himself in the house like they forgot about him 
But that's what happens when you have so many kids. You can't come, like, you can't um, recall them all, so, you know? But then all the other movies after Home Alone, I don't remember how many were after that. Kevin would be the first person I have in the car. I don't care. Kevin's the first person getting on the plane. Kevin is the first player. He not getting up. Like, I'm not leaving Kevin again. Like, come on. There was, um, I forgot what it was on Netflix. I just watched it. Oh my god. Okay, so, alright. I just checked Netflix for something. And they have, um, they have a new TV show. And it's called The Holiday Movies That Made Us. And the first one that, like, the first two that are up there that I can see right now are Elf and The Nightmare Before Christmas. What did I tell you guys? Oh, okay. Operation Christmas Drop. There we go. I love that movie. I thought it was so stinking cute. And I think I have an obsession with like spending Christmas in a warmer place rather than it, it be snowing outside because that's what I always experience. It's always cold on Christmas over here in New York. Um, it hasn't snowed on Christmas for a while though. But I would really, really, really like to like... I would really, really, really like to experience, like, Christmas in the sand. Like, instead of having, like, a pine tree or... Is it a pine tree that we have for Christmas? Like, I'd rather a palm tree. I don't know. I don't remember if it's a TV show or if it's a movie, but it's like Grandpa got... Grandpa got ran over by a reindeer. Let me know down in the comments if that's, like, a TV show or if that's just the song or if that's a movie. Like, I feel like it was something like that. Somebody got ran over by a reindeer or, like, Mrs. Claus got ran over by a reindeer. I swear it's it, it comes on TV all the time. Another one that I liked was um, The Perfect Holiday. So it does have more Chestnut and, I believe, Gabrielle Union. It's one of those, like, um, good feel black movies. <laughs> like, all black cast. You, you guys know what I'm talking about when I say that. So another movie I think you guys should check out is Krampus. Um... It's a little, I told you, the movies that I like for Christmas are a little off and more like Halloween-ish. It's a little Christmas horror story, actually, so, um, check that one out. If you guys have ever seen Krampus, put it down in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> it's called Mickey's Christmas Carol. I swear they're trying to teach Donald. Is it, is it Donald? Is his name Donald? It's not Daffy. Yeah, they're trying to teach Donald, like, how to not be a Grinch, like, how to not be Scrooge. It's basically a Christmas Carol, but, like, with Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, his little nephews, and, you know, everybody else in the movie. Such a good one. It's so, like, I don't know. I like the little... It's either, like, really lighthearted Christmas movies or, like, really creepy ones. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my camera overheated again. Darn Sony A5100. I don't remember where I was exactly in the video, so I'm just gonna have to end it here because um, I got on TikTok and I got way too carried away, so now I, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so, follow me on TikTok. I'm new, so you know. If you guys wanna see me like act a fool besides here on YouTube and there on Instagram and over there on Twitter, go over there and check out my TikTok. <laughs> but that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't get to at the beginning of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye. Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, magic. Yeah.